Uh, my name is Özlem Okuyucu from London School of Economics. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for your speech. Um, I'd like to ask a question about the crisis in Syria. Uh, I'm from Turkey, and as everybody knows, uh, Turkey is hosting uh, nearly 2,500,000 Syrian refugees. And some Turkish people are criticizing Saudi Arabia on the grounds that Saudi Arabia isn't accepting refugees and it isn't doing enough for refugees as a rich country. And as you said, uh, there is a responsibility. You said that Saudi Arabia has a responsibility uh, in terms of it's the center uh, for Islam. So some Turkish people are also saying this. Uh, it's an Islamic country, so why uh, isn't it doing enough for uh, Syrian refugees? So I'd like uh, I'd like to ask about this issue. I'd like to I'd like you to elaborate uh, on uh, Saudi Arabia's refugee policy. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. I'll ask you to take that directly. Yes. Thank you. Um, I think we could have done a better job explaining what we've done with Syrian refugees. Saudi Arabia has issued more than two and a half million visas to Syrian refugees since the crisis began. We put out a statement. Nobody p noticed it. Two and a half million came to Saudi Arabia. I think six or seven hundred thousand still remain in Saudi Arabia. Not one of them lives in a refugee camp. And not one of them lives in a tent. Because the custodian of the two holy mosques ordered that all Syrians who come to Saudi Arabia be provided residency permits so they can send their kids to school so they can have access to medical care and they can have access to social security and they can get a job. We don't have one Syrian. Of all the Syrians who came to Saudi Arabia, 2.4 million, not one of them lives in a tent. And the same thing we did with Yemenis. Since the war in Yemen began, almost a million Yemenis came to Saudi Arabia as refugees. And the same policy was applied to Yemenis. Not one of them lives in a refugee camp and not one of them lives in a tent. And we don't brag about it, and we don't put TV cameras in front of them, because that, to us, is what our culture is all about. These people came because their homes were devastated. They came seeking refuge and shelter and safety in Saudi Arabia, and we provide it for them. In a way that is dignified, in a way that doesn't humiliate them, in a way that allows them and their children to, le to lead as normal, a life as possible given the circumstances. So I really appreciate the question so I can educate the audience about our, our refugee policy. Thank you. Thank you very much.